Good morning and what's going on? Welcome to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Subi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking into today's video, and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're tuning in from, you got something delicious in your in your hand. You're sitting in a comfy chair and you're ready for a shave. I'm thrilled to have you here for today's. I'm really excited. I've got just over three days of growth, and we're gonna be knocking it down, shaving it to the ground with Focus Dynamic. And I'm really excited because this is the pivoting head. This is their um, dynamic single edge safety razor, right? But I've done a little bit of Subi. A, a little bit of subi magic here going on here. I've stacked the blades as I know you're not supposed to intendedly do, right? But I've also combined their R46 head cap with their R48 Evo. And I'm doing that because the R48 Evo, right, has a lot of performance, but also a lot of blade fill. Whereas the cap, from what I can see, has a slightly sh more shallow angle on it. So when you combine the two, right, I should get the performance of the upgraded, you know, um, flow and stuff like that with the R40, um, R48 Evo version. But then you're also getting the smoothness of the R46. That's the theory behind it. So we're doing a little bit of a mashup here. We're doing a little franken razoring with the single edge focus dynamic razor. I love the razor. It's one of those ones that takes the shave, you know, the effort and the, the thought behind it and makes it autopilot for me. One of the first dynamic, actually fully pivoting single edge headed razors that existed. So I really like this. I think it's very unique and I still think it's um, applicable and usable in today's safety razor options, right? I love this one. Let's get a shave with it. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm going to make sure it works. Before you try it at home, we're going to test it here. We're going to also be talking about Kane. This just barely released again um, for this year over at Doug, Fred, and Hux's store. Um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement is just barely, barely releasing this. And I absolutely love it. If you can tell, my label has seen some things, right? This is made up from the North Pole and back. It's actually one of the um, soaps and splashes that I brought from the East Coast. And this box exploded. There were eight um, splashes in the box and only two of them made it. And this is one of them. Thank goodness, right? But this is what happened when all the glass and everything were rubbing around and, and rolling around in the UPS truck, right? This is what ended up happening. And so it's, it looks beat up. I'm calling it distressed, right? We're calling it Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement's Distress Label. And we're going to sell it for more money, right? Because it's distressed. Love this one. It's a beautiful scent. It smells very much like peppermint, but it's peppermint with a twist, right? It smells really, really nice. There's a cologne aspect to this. I think it's one of the best, in my opinion here, um, like mentholated scents available. Usually mentholated scents are just cold and that's it. You don't get any actually like nice scent to them. And I like that Doug has actually gone in and made this fragrant. It's actually a profile I enjoy. There's vanilla to it. There's a peppermint to it. But then that musk actually turns it into a more cologne-esque smell. Like you have cologne that's mentholated. And I really like it this time of year. It makes you want to sit next to the fire while you're using it. And that's why I kind of did the photos I did, right? Makes you want to huddle around a fire. It's so darn chilly, but it also feels really nice post shave. I love this one again. It's a mentholated scent. Cane. Absolutely awesome. If you haven't grabbed it this year, make sure to do so and get this while you're at it. This is the solid cologne. I absolutely love their solid cologne in Cane because the menthol is so much more prominent, right? I don't always go for the solid cologne, but in the Cane model, right? In this Cane option, that menthol really has some punch to it. I love this scent in there. Um, it, it's almost like, like a chapstick almost-esque uh, feel. And when you put it on your skin, it's super hydrating. I love their solid solid clone cane really good stuff. All right. I want to show you guys the lather too. We're talking about really good stuff. And I did that with a Maritime. Um, this is Brendan's um, shade brush that I bought many, many years ago that I still just love picking up. I love the red and I love how it plays with the label, but look at what his knot did today with that lather. Rich, rich, rich stuff going on here. Slick, shiny. You can see your reflection coming off of this. Like, it's beautiful lather today. I almost like, I think I made too much to be really honest. Look at that. That's just shave soap. I love this stuff. That's what makes wet shaving so much fun is when you dial in that lather to the point where it's runny, but it's all absolutely um, a cover. You know, it gives you good coverage, gives you great protection. That is my favorite type of lather right there. It has a ton of like splay, uh, like it paints on really nicely with the splay from the brush. It releases really easily, but then you get all that slickness and like protection with it. Ah, it's so nice. Most so much better than shave like cream, right? I love a good shave soap and cane, man. What a good one. The whole bathroom today smelling festive, smelling fragrant, and they. 
thank you again for being here for the shave. Let's get in here. Let's talk a little bit about this razor. Now, as a person that you know came in from the cartridge shaving world, right? I was very intimidated originally by safety razors. They were like freaked me out. I went and bought one. I had my wife end up shaving the back of my head because I was so scared. I was cutting myself all the time. That's when I found the Focus Dynamic and the Leaf product, right? And the Focus Dynamic I really liked because it was a single blade rather than three blades that I was assembling. I really, really liked that this was a single edge. You just load it in, slide the cap on, and it was really simple. I love the simple uh, simplicity behind the razor. The problem is, is that the original one, right, didn't have the blade pin. So what you get is as you're loading the razor, the blade would shift and it would move and you'd have problems getting a good shape that was safe, right? That is a really big problem. Um, and then they implemented the bigger pins on the R48 Evo, which are make, they make the razor so much better, so much safer, and it, it's so much easier to load and maintain. Um, you can see, look at how deep that pin is. It secures the blade way, way better as you're loading it and sliding it into place. I do recommend still, if you're interested in the system, I still like using their loading tray plate. It's not a necessity, but when you get a lot of soap there, it's built up underneath the razor, like the cap and the blade, because it's a pressure, right? It actually develops so much pressure, it's really hard to remove it sometimes. So I like that option where you put it in here and it makes it so you have a, like a, a thing to slide against, which is really nice. Just as, as an option, if you're looking at the system. The other thing I want to mention here is the razor actually operates with a single blade that's been snapped. They make sure they tell you not to use manufactured blades that are cut, snipped, used any kind of scissors because there's no lip on the blade to lift it. So when you push it down, nothing's actually putting back pressure on the cap to lift it up and to put pressure up against these pins, right? That's how it's working. The, the little flanges, the little little um, lips on the blade are actually lifting that blade up so that when you secure it down, these have pressure and torque to hold it in place. I, over the years, I found that that was actually a, a limiting part of the system. I actually had problems with it. That's why I kind of navigate around um, went to the proof razor is because when you snap your razor blades, right, it's a variable. You don't always have the same little curve on the blade. So you get some blades that are awesome and have a ton of pressure and put up on that on the cap, but then you have some that don't and it ends up getting kind of a loose cap or it's not a good shave. You have a little bit more chatter from the blade. And in my opinion, it is a real limiting part of the system. So what I started doing, and I know it's against manufacturer recommendations, and please, for everybody out there that's watching this, don't go below. Use torches, get angry at me. I'm doing this as a the way it works for me. I stack the two blades. I do the subi stack system, right? I stack two blades inside and I slide it on top. That gives it a uniform pressure. It allows the razor to not, you know, ever change because the blade thicknesses aren't going to change all that much between blades, right? Especially if you're taking it from the same blade. And I just cut it with scissors. And for me, it's really removed that variable to the shave and made it very smooth, very comfortable, very easy. Again, this is not recommended, but it works really well for me. Let me show you guys. Again, three days of growth. So this is going to be taking it down really, really, really fast. Very, very easy, but it's definitely got some work to do, right? It's got some work. I did not want to um, come in here and say, well, you know, we're not going to put it through its paces. You can hear it kind of pivoting a little bit. The pivot is definitely, um, like, I would say it's not as, um, you know, dynamic. No, no pun intended here. I would say it's not as like, like you know, like aggressive as the proof razor, right? It doesn't have the range, if that makes sense. You're not getting as much pivot, but for me, it almost operates kind of like a safety guard, right? As you're learning to put pressure down and learning, you know, how much pressure it takes to use the razor. I, 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 if you go too hard, that, pre, that, that pivot allows it to kind of glide and gives you some protection. And I really like it for that reason. It's very, very easy. Now the, the, the kind of the, the twist on that, um, the concept, right? where I'm using the R46 cap, I really, really like a lot of users of this razor, right, when they first picked it up, said it was too mild. Said it didn't give them a good shave. So then, um, you know, Focus said, well, all right, we'll give it to you hardcore. And they released the Evo. And the Evo is much more aggressive, much more efficient. But a lot of people actually that were fond of the original version, the more mild version, felt like that there wasn't another option on the market for them. So this kind of, in my opinion, is like a mixture between the two. You do have to have that R46 head cap, right? But I think that, if, I mean, if you're like the system, I think it was worth it. I love the R46 because I can change the handles on it. I, I, I've had a lot of fun playing around with that razor, but at times, right, I, I want to go back to that original handle. So this kind of gives me that I, the, the same handle, gives me the same comfort as the more mild razor, but it also offers those blade pins up front that secure the razor. So this was actually kind of done by me as like a way to get the blade pins, a way to get the um, securing uh, like features for the blade, but with a more mild cap. I, with the Derby Premium Razor Blades, this is smooth, it's easy. I, I, I mentioned it a little earlier on one of my other videos, but I'm still having some health problems where I'm, I'm actually shaking a little bit, I'm still having some um, heart problems. 
that are causing some tremors. And the tremors are kind of hard to shave around. And I love these kind of pivoting dynamic razors because even with a tremor, even with some, um, you know, dis I don't want to say disabilities, but <laughs> some limiting features to your um, shaves, right? It's still easy to use and it still gives a very, very close, comfortable. I mean, it gives you as good of a shave as any safety razor you're going to pick up, but it's going to offer some of the niceties and some of the, uh, you know, protections of, of, of a dynamic pivoting head. Love this one again. It was one of those ones where I was so new to the craft and I was really worried about shaving with, you know, the not a non-pivoting head. And I loved the idea that it was so small because when I was using my leaf, getting like right here was really challenging. Getting a very, very close, very, very easy shave right there. It took me a little extra work. It's possible. It's totally possible. I still love my leaf. It still comes out on, on occasions. But I liked the small little head profile to this razor. And I feel like people out there that reached for the leaf and said, well, I don't like the size of the head. I think that this razor actually may really appeal to them. And I like getting it out. I like It's one of those ones I really enjoy getting out and talking about and using. And I think this is a way that if you're a fan of the razor, but it was too aggressive, the R48 version, you know, this is really good. You can see it pivoted really nicely there. It really works, like it's stupendous. It's, it's very, very much dependable. And you can see it's efficient. I like this a lot. Very fun razor to pick up on like, you know, easy mode day. Easy mode day, you don't always wanna have maximum effort day. And I love this for easy mode day. I will say this, the one thing that kind of throws my hand for um, a loop is the aluminum handle is so light. The razor is extremely light. And so it's very nimble. Yeah, it's totally nimble. But the problem is, is as it's so light, right? You have to kind of learn what, how much pressure to use. Kind of like the Henson, where there's a little bit of pressure you actually wanna to apply to keep the razor on the, um, skin and to get it you know shaving smoothly and this one I, th I feel like it's almost like that you heard it I don't know if I can do it again the, you can hear it clicking and that clicking is working really good as you apply the pressure required to move the head and it just shaves really nicely, very easily, and without any kind of irritation for me. It's, again, it's one of those ones I really liked in the R48 um, Evo version, but I like this just as much with the slightly less aggressive, slightly less efficient um, um, head cap profile. It's just a little less steep. It's what I can tell. This like, little groove here is a little less steep than it is on this model right here, their standard cap. You can see that extra bevel, right? Look at it here. You see there how there's like an extra bevel to that cap on the bottom of it? That extra bevel makes a huge dang difference when it comes down to getting that blade really, really close against the skin and actually giving it a little bit more efficiency. At least it does for me. And so switching that out, I actually think I'm gonna use it like this more often. I really like this. It's so easy to use. You can fly around a dome, no problem. Circular areas, really easy. I love the longer handle because it's easy to use like in hard to reach spots. The only other thing I think that I, I, would, I would criticize here is the actual flatness to the handle, right? It's pretty flat here. So you're not getting a ton of ergonomic grip. It's there, it, uh, the anodized aluminum actually works really good to produce grip, but it's not giving me like, you know, ultra neural kind of vibes at all whatsoever. Um, I just want to call this out as a person that loves the system, right? I've loved the system for years. I've talked about it for a long time. I've gotten great shaves over the years with the razor and I keep buying the ones that they release. And I want to call out that they just released their stainless steel version, right? This razor right here, the R50, but they released it in an Evo format. They released it like this with all the updates, all the accoutrement, right? All the necessities to get the, 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 you know, the safety features of this razor in their stainless steel head and I was dying this morning. I was over on the website and I was like, where has this been? How long has it been out for? Why wasn't I notified? I need this. So who knows? I may have to end up picking up the R50, right? In stainless steel, but it's got those updated features of their R48, which just makes such a nice, but better, closer, more, um, you know, less variable kind of shave. Awesome one with this one today. Fast, super, super close. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, it's close. It's comfortable. I have no nicks. I have no problems. I have no irritation, but I have BBS glass here. I have the kind of shave where you want to come back tomorrow and do it again. Oh my goodness. I love cane. Something about that mentholated shave where your skin kind of compresses a little bit, kind of shrinks up a little bit, and then it absorbs everything that was on it. It gives me just the smoothest, easiest, 
nicest shaves. I love cane. It's one of the ones I pick up during the summertime, right? When it's burning hot outside and I want to get a really, really cool, crisp shave, I'll reach for cane during then, you know, come inside from mowing the lawn, throw in a little cane, cool myself off. But then this time of year, oh, it's perfect. It's cold outside. It gets you a crisp feel on the skin. Oh, it smells really nice. And I love, love, love the old version of that bottle. Just, it, it, lets, it lets go of the, um, the, the formula. It lets go of the splash so much easier. Oh, yeah. I needed this one today. Thank you for being here for it. It was fun. It was crisp. It was really, really cold. <laughs> and it was close. What a shave. Not bad whatsoever. I'm telling you this. If you're a fan of pivoting headed razors and you haven't tried the Focus Dynamic, right? Here's another way to do it, right? Combining their two options, right? They're 46 and they're 48 together for an absolutely BBS crisp close shave. It's kind of a hybrid option, right? Kind of a Subi, uh, Subi project razor here, but I really enjoyed it. Thanks again for being here for the cane shave and the Focus Dynamic. It was phenomenal. Until I see you guys below, right, on the comment section, I'm going to get out and enjoy a perfect shave, and I'll see you on our next one. Soups out.